All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video on the channel today, guys. Today, what we're going to be doing is retrofitting the Matrix headlights onto a Model Y. So this is my friend's 2021 Model Y, and he actually has one of his headlights out right now. And I don't know if you guys can see, but this is not a Matrix headlight because it doesn't have like the little, on the Matrix, there's like a little, uh, like a beam with like little pixels on it. So this one does is not a Matrix headlight. Um, so we're gonna be retrofitting this and it's pretty simple. We already have the Matrix headlights. We found them on eBay. They were like 500 bucks for both brand new. So super good deal. And the reason why we're changing them is he had one go bad. And instead of just getting another old one, might as well upgrade the matrix. What you're gonna need is the two headlights, and you're also going to need a laptop with an ethernet port that can connect to the car, and you're gonna need somebody who can uh, update the car configuration. Um, I will leave a link to somebody that I know that does it for me, um, but if you have like a Tesla employee that you know that could do it for you, um, or somebody that has Tesla's toolbox, they can do it if they know all the right coding and stuff. Step one is gonna be, we're gonna go ahead and remove this front bumper, um, and then we'll remove the headlights. I'll leave the service manuals for both of that um, down in the description below. We're also gonna have to remove the passenger footwell carpet area uh, because we have to get to the MCU, which is back there to be able to plug into the ethernet port. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of that. And like I said, I'll leave all the instructions for all that stuff down in the description. And once we get to plugging in the headlights and everything, I'll catch up with you guys again. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. All right guys, so this is where we're at right now. Took off the front bumper, took out the headlights. Headlights are super easy. Got one bolt there, one bolt here, and you've got the connector. And then there's like a pin that holds the headlight in. Just pull it and it comes right out. Um, that's pretty much it. And we're going to go ahead and get the new headlights um, and put them in and connect them. Um, and my friend over here is working on What's getting up? this side out. So we basically took this trim panel off here. That comes off. This one right here comes off. There's a clip right here. Pull this way and then pull up. That one comes out. And then you've got this one right here which is just clips, and that one comes out. There is one clip that holds it in as well. Um, and then we got a clip right there for the carpet to come off. And yeah, and then we're just gonna peel this back. We might actually also take this carpet off here as well. Um, but that should be about it to give us access to the ethernet port. All right, guys, so here we go. We're about to plug in one of the Matrix headlights. As you can see, that's non-Matrix. This is Matrix, which has like see the pixel beam right there, super cool. Um, and then also the difference is the matrix has like this heat sink down here when the non matrix has a heat sink over there. And what's cool on the Model 3 and Y is the plug is the same. On the S and the X, you have to get an adapter and I'll leave that down below if you're trying to do this on an S and X. But on the 3 and a Y, the plug is the same. So it's plug and play. You just have to update that configuration. So I guess this depends on what headlight you get, guys. If it's like, uh, I don't know why this one doesn't come already, but um, it looks like we're having to transfer over these. Um, and we're also having to transfer over this bracket here. This is made for the bumper to clip into. So we're taking that off of the old one and moving it to the new one. One thing that we noticed, guys, this bracket, um, I would try to find, if you're gonna get a headlight, a matrix headlight that does not come with this bracket, make sure to get the correct bracket because this bracket does not look like it's really transferable um, because only one of the screws lines up. It's gonna at least be there for us to line the bumper up, but it should, all of these screws should line up. So it'll work in this sense, but it would be nice to have the correct bracket. All right, guys, so this is a very <laughs> difficult connection, but let's take a peek under here. So under here, you've got the MCU, and what you want to connect to is that right there. Very difficult. What I did is I pushed those wires really hard that way, and then this Ethernet cable was able to connect right to there. 
guys, and it's going to say uh, Diagnostic Tool Connected, Enable. I'm going to click Enable there. It's going to go into service mode. We're going to go ahead and give our friend access to my computer. Um, and he's going to do the config change. All right, guys, he's doing the configuration change right now. He just did some sort of a uh, update to the control units or something, and now it looks like they are both on. Look at that, guys. Yeah, there we go. Matrix headlights are indeed working. We went into edit headlights, and look at that. And you can, yep, you can adjust the height or however you want. Um, and yeah, so that confirms that they do work.